Relax your eyes and let that word breath sensing become an invitation to turn inward with your awareness. To really arrive on this space of your mat in the present moment and just as you are. Meet yourself where you are and just let your body rest. Let your mind rest on your breath. Listen for the breath, use the ears. How it kind of swirls and flows, rises and falls. That ocean quality of the sound, that really gentle roar of the waves. Let that create a softness between the ears. And take one more like that, really using the listening, the ears to connect. And now add a little bit more upright to your spine. If you've just been a little bit soft, that's a nice place to be for meditation. But for deep breath work, we want to come into alignment, shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders. And you'll need your tummy to be a little strong here to support the pose. So when you breathe out, bring your navel towards your spine. Squeeze that lower belly towards the body gently. Keep that, breathe in. Feel the breath expand all the way around. And exhale, gently reinforce Uddiyana Bandha, navel towards the spine. And then doing three rounds of B breath. Brahmari, where we hum and vibrate our voices. So just hum your exhales three times, adding gentle closing of your ears and just holding your skull. So this should feel pleasant. Sit tall, take your time. You need a nice full inhale and then close the ears gently and exhale as long as you can with the hum. Mm -hmm. When that's complete, observe the calming quality that vibration has on the brain, on the nervous system. And give yourself a moment for your own intentions, planting a seed in your heart. And then inhale and do another hum or an om for the exhale. Um. And then continue to let your breath vibrate as you move through the practice. Close your mouth gently, breathe through your nose. Exhale, low belly towards the spine. Inhale, take your archer arms, your bow and arrow pose and come to look back twist. So gently squeezing your fists, pull your hands away from each other, turn your eyes back. So the breath is organic in the shapes. Allow the breath to move you a little bit. One more inhale, grow, determined. And exhale is a softening and letting go completely back to center. Sit tall, inhale, take the arms. Exhale, second side. It's not the biggest twist, just whatever works for you. Gently squeeze your fists, activate your upper body. And 
Listen to the breath. Steady your eyes. Last time. Inhale a little more vigor. Exhale, soften the hands and everything come back to center. And then let's release the legs out straight. You can still sit up on your prop. And this is called um, turning the mill. So we stack the fist, loose fists. And just imagine you're holding that central pole of a machine that we would power with our bodies. So circling around, either direction will go both ways. Try to anchor your legs, lean back to a comfortable degree, just kind of circling yourself. Notice how flowing movements, just let the breath flow, let the mind ride along. And then go the other way. Lean back, circle around, forward and back, and around. We let the fist change the other stack. Shoulders are in the body. Maybe little hints of joy when we're in flowing postures. And let that come to a still place and just give it a little stillness. Feel the energy stirred up. And come on up to standing if you want to try coming up without your hands or not. Just one suggestion. Some determination. Come to your feet. Pick up and place those feet down with a little stamp. Really create that yantra, that connection with the earth. And then blowing palm pose. So stand centered. Draw your navel in gently. Take your right arm up overhead and side bend over to the left side. The other arm hugs into the body. So like a palm tree, we can be blown by the wind, but we're anchored to the earth. We're flexible. Breathe out again. Inhale out slowly. Hug your butt arm into your other side and up and over. Blowing palms, stick your hips out to the side, create a side bend. Picture those palm trees in a strong wind and let yourself feel anchored and flexible. Last time, make space for your inhale, gently finish into your exhale and inhale, release. Sun salutations, have a moment of standing attention. Close your eyes, feel your feet, feel the strength of your legs and your belly. Standing tall but relaxed. Ready, focusing. Now the inhale comes and the arms reach up and the shoulders stay down. Tip up your chin. Slowly breathe out, come to forward fold. So knees bend as needed, pelvis tips forward. Touch your hands wherever they reach and fold your head in. Inhale, extend your spine. Your hands can come up to make space for that lengthening. Face to your nose. Exhale, spread your hands, bend your knees. Notice which leg you take back first and we'll do the other next time. Plank pose with a little side to side movement today. Trying to go down to your knees, just five breaths. Let's settle into center for the last two, navel towards the spine, whole body strong. Draw up on your breath. Upward facing dog, knees down, untuck your toes. Just keep breathing. And let an inhale energy lift you into the shape. Roll your shoulders back, gaze to your nose, just the right amount. Exhale energy, flip your feet, hips up, find your down dog. Lift up your fingers and spread and then place them back down. So your weight's in the heels of your hands. 
Pressing there. Let the breath flow in deep waves. Head releasing, looking back. Focusing on that uplift in the low belly. One more exhale, weight back to the legs. Inhale, step forward and come to half lift. Exhale forward, fold, lengthen. Tuck. Press the feet to stand. Inhale, just let your breath match your movement. When you're ready to exhale, return to the place we began. Inhale, reach. Finding the flow of these poses, exhale, fold, but carefully, mindfully, each shape. Keeping it positive, half lift. Don't strain your neck here. Keep your face downward. Just lengthen like cow spine. Exhale, bend knees, hands down, other leg up first this time. Come to the side plank pose. Maybe knee down, maybe not. Five breaths on the right side. Three. Just one set. Do everything you can. And five. Exhale, other side. A moment to set it up. Turn on your determination. Breath strong and steady. Four. And exhale, release. Come to your belly, hug in your elbows. Release out, cobra spine. Hands by your chest, legs together. Lengthen your front body, lengthen your back body. This strengthens our back more than it is a back bend. Try to engage your muscles around your hips and your legs. Your spine. One more breath. Relax a bit. Press forward and down, hugging your elbows. Peel up. Tuck toes, downward facing dog. Last breath. Inhale, shift forward, half lifting. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, stand, reach. Top of that inhale, and then exhale, grounding energy back to your center. Take a free breath, lift your elbows, Pranamasana. Then crossing your thumbs and spreading your fingers wide. Inhale up and gently back. So we'll press the pelvis forward, lift your ribs. Keep breathing. One more exhale. And then strong belly to release to forward fold. Give yourself a little time. Take an extra breath. Take your right leg back. Bring your knee down. And today, bring in your knee up over your ankle. So we're in low lunge. Feel free to cushion your knee if you need to. Variation one has those archer arms again with the left arm forward and the right arm drawing back. Kneeling warrior variation. Concentrate on holding the shape. And five. Release. Keep your legs, second one. You take your left elbow down and rest your head on your hand. And then reach your right arm up towards the sky, angling back a little bit. 
So you could take out your hand into a gesture if you prefer. Meditate on keeping the steadiness. Last time. And release to center. Let's draw the leg straight into Hanuman's pose. Draw the toes back. Press your palms, find your balance, and forward fold to your own degree. Determination as well as sweetness. One more exhale. And take your leg back. Upward dog for five breaths, slide out your hands. So you have enough room between your knees and your hands for your spine to have space. Carefully lift the tops of your feet if you like. Lift out of your shoulders and gaze down towards your nose. Four. Knees down, tabletop. Downward dog. Learning to rest in downward dog. You let your hips go side to side a few times. Exploring, curious. Center, be still. The uplift in the belly helps you step your right leg forward, coming into that kneeling warrior lunge, that low lunge with the knee over ankle. Find your balance for a moment. Press your top foot into the earth. Take your archer arms. Steady eyes. So off the tip of the nose is always a good gaze, so just go out in front of you and down a bit. Spot on your floor. Exhale, relax the arms. Be careful placing the elbow. Put it into something that feels firm in your leg here. So we're not trying to hurt ourselves. But So either hold your head or thumb and index finger. The other arm up and back. Gazing up and back. Challenging the balance all these ways. And come to exhale, release to center. Hanuman's pose, straighten out your front leg, drop back your toes, so straight to your own degree. Plant that back foot and forward fold. Just the right amount where you're, you have some work that is positive. Four, exhale, last breath. Exhale, five, complete. Use your hands to place that foot down. Bring your other foot forward and forward fold. Sliding your fingers under your toes. Come to the roots of the fingers or to the wrist, depending on which way feels best, or just hold your elbows. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, fold in, draw the elbows wide, spread the upper back. And try to bring your weight into the balls of your feet a little more than you think you can. Forward folds, calm the nervous system. as does the sound and flow of the breathing. One more time with the exhale. Carefully release your hands back up to your waist, press your feet and stand. Exhale, hips under, 
Well, hips over your feet, sorry, feet distance, hip distance. Elephant pose, elbows and hands together. Sink back into a deep squat. Rest your thumbs into your third eye. Close your eyes. Feel steady and rounded. Strong. Elephants are the path makers. One more exhale. Inhale, determination, press and stand up. Um, step out to left side for triangle today. Just to mix it up to go to the other side first. So turn your left foot all the way to the back of your mat and angle in your right foot. So your hips are off to the side. Reach out your arms away from each other. So all the limbs are doing different actions here. And we come over and down. It's like we're radiating like a star. Round your lower hand or keep it to the side if you want to challenge your core today. Turn your gaze upward, stack your shoulders. One more breath. Follow the inhale energy when it comes to come up. Keep stretching your arms, change your legs to the front of the mat. Exhale when you're ready, that sense of radiating through all the limbs over and down. Keep your hand away from the leg or on it. And turn your head, stack your shoulders. Concentration is part of the practice. Become present. One more exhale. Draw in your navel. Inhale, come up. Release your arms, top of mat. Parsvottanasana, we're taking the hands behind. So you roll the thumbs in, reach back, connect your knuckles, hold your wrists, or bring your fingertips together. Either way, work up your spine to a comfortable degree. Step your left leg back first today. Hips to the front, straight leg pose. Lift your heart, breathe in. Gaze to your nose. Breathe out slowly, forward fold. So if your arms become too intense, just bring them lower on your spine. Make adjustments so there's no strain. Let your feet spread instead of grip. Feel your footprints into the earth. Exhale once more. Inhale up and gently back. And exhale, release your arms down and away. Spin your wrists into infinity shapes as you step out. Just let softness and openness flow through. Exhale, rest the hands into each other. Feel that central line of the body, the third eye, the heart center, the mula, all of it. And other side, arms first. So roll the shoulders in. Come behind, take your catch, whatever it is. Step back your right leg now. Have a moment to refine your feet. Breathe in, lift your heart. Breathe out, go forward. Just with mindfulness, you come just the right amount. Trying to fold and eventually touch our leg with our face. Keeping the heart lifted. Fourth breath. Exhale once more. Inhale up, gently back. Release your arms. Do those infinity symbols. Just release your moment. Next time you breathe out, let your hands find and rest into each other. Drixasana, the chi pose. Come to the wall if you need some support. And taking the left leg first, 
So we bring balance, getting right into the right leg. And we're gonna to try to come back to center after we find our leg position. So you can have your toes on the floor, encircle your knee, or help your foot up into that mat to the top of your leg. One or both hands at the heart center. Steady eyes. See if you can open your knee out to the side a little more. Meditate upon centering. Letting the branches grow upward if you feel comfortable doing so today. Optional. No space for anything else. Remember to try again if you come down. And to resist coming down with all your determination until it's time. So starting to feel some good sensation in the standing leg. Come down, release, land on both legs. Close your eyes, feel the legs. There's a fresh rush of blood into the leg that was lifted. Other side, shift it to the left. Find your branch, all good branches. Work with one that's steady and familiar for today so that we can have a little opening out to the side. One or both hands at the heart. So if you're holding a wall, you can just have one hand there, other hand there. Even if you just have a hand near the wall in case. Centering. Bringing some real, a real literal sense to that idea of centering ourselves. Arms reach up if that's something that will add something good to your pose today. Or keep them at your heart. So there are just glimpses of real stillness. There's a lot of micro adjusting that happens. No room for anything else, not judging yourself, just doing your best, try to enjoy. Maybe a little nod of love towards the trees, being one with them, and standing legs starting to feel a lot of sensation, come on out, land in both, have a breath to feel both. Feel the exhale ground you. Good. Let's dance through the warriors today with that idea of having a little bit of a deeper lunge. So right leg back first. Warrior A, square to the front. So bend your front knee right over your ankle. We tend to hold it back a little bit. Right over the ankle, look at yours. And then see if you can get your front leg lower to the floor by space between the feet little bigger stamps than you usually take. Just trying to grow, feel the feet open and ground, hold you here. And then just let the arms reach back, open your chest, gaze to your nose. And then inhale, sweep up your arms, lift up your gaze. Still very observant of the lower body with the upper gaze. And exhale, hands to heart center. Open back toes to the side, warrior B. Do you need even more space between your feet? Have some time. Check out your knee over ankle. Reach out your arms, turn your head towards the front. Gather your fingers together gently. Feel broad chest and broad back. Perhaps a little more challenge with the stance being wider, maybe even a little bit sore tomorrow. Just keep it feeling okay, even if it's a little harder. Let's try it in extended side angle, lean and reach. Maybe come to the floor or block. 
Gaze towards your hand, turn your rib cage up towards the sky. One more exhale. Inhale, come up, straighten your front leg, turn both feet to the same direction. And exhale to press and reach to pose, wide spreading feet. Let your spine lengthen. Feel the nervous system calm. One more wave of breath. Inhale, rise up. Work your feet close enough so you can step them closer and return top of your mat. Ready for the other side. A little bit of determination, heat. Warrior A. Wider stance than normal. Just it's a little bit fine. Just trying to challenge that front leg into being parallel to the floor eventually. Knee, it's nice to touch the knee, look at it, look at the ankle. Arms reach back, open heart. Just letting your body get used to that different stance. And then inhale up, lift your chin, shoulders down. Apply energy and heat to the pose. One more time. Exhale to heart. Open to the side. Maybe even a little more space between the feet. Warrior B, turn your head, broad chest and back. A little warmth on the forehead. Last breath. And then exhale, extended side angle pose, lean and reach. Rotate your rib cage towards the sky. Gaze to your reaching hand. And give it one more breath. Inhale up and out. Let your front leg straighten. Gratitude for that new strength. Turn feet wide parallel. And exhale, come down to center. Hands coming to the floor. Hug your elbows. Your knees are bent as needed, and the belly draws up. Calming waves of breath. Head over to your right leg and just wrap yourself around with both arms. Find a nice lateral release. Exhale again. Over to the other side. Same thing, just find a nice wrap around that one leg. Trust your feet and your legs. And one more exhale. Come to center, feet a little closer. Come up, breathe in. And exhale, stepping out, letting it be. Coming down to the earth, lead your fingers together, press up to the sky, release them and wrap your legs from behind as you fold in. Half lift hands to the shins. Exhale, take your legs back. Bring your knees down, cross your ankles and come through and sit down. Just a moment to arrive, sit in down, gas in a staff pose. Legs are straight if possible. Toes up, hands by your hips. Your elbows might bend if your arms are long and tuck your chin, just lightly. In order to release ourselves in the forward fold, it can be nice to pick up your, flesh off your sitting bones a little bit, your ischial tuberosities, and then lengthen, reach up your arms. Even if your knees are bent, 
This is about tipping the pelvis forward so you can come into forward fold. So go out there and catch your legs, feet, or toes. Draw your belly back. So we use our hands to pull ourselves into the shape to lengthen our sides. Try to bring your face down towards your legs. Grateful for what you are able to do. Non-judgmental. If you want to do better at something, just aim your intention at growing it. Put in the tapas, the heat, the will. One more breath out, long spine. Inhale to come up. And bring in your feet like bridge pose feet. We're gonna try lifting up with the fingers forward. Lift your chest. So it's okay if you can't lift your hips, but this way you really get to use your feet, drawing them in. Gaze towards your nose. Be ready, have a sense of readiness. And inhale, press your hands and feet, lift up your hips to any degree. Apply your bandhas. Keep your chin towards your chest a little bit. Give it one more breath. See if you can press your hips up like we do in bridge pose. And then exhale, come down carefully. And taking your legs out straight once more. Bring in your right leg. Have it be about where your right hip is. So there's some space here between both arms on the inside. Sit tall, reach out on A, coming forward and down to any degree. Find that first. I'm sticking my hands to the mat to help myself walk out. And then stay there or sweep your arms out to the sides low. Thumbs roll back like Parasotanasana. And just start to wrap your arms back around to your body. Reach forward through your head. Just do your best. One more exhale. Inhale, come up, lean back, catch your balance on your sacrum. Exhale, other side. Plant that foot close to your body, a little bit wide. Arm inside, sit tall. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Stop when you need to stop. These are, these are definitely pretzel-y kind of poses, so just work with yourself. Have an easy, easygoing attitude. Arms out if it feels good, thumbs down. Bend elbows, exploring. And exhale, release and sit back up. Lean back, catch your balance. And come to the other side again. For this twisted version where you sit up tall and twist, Marichi C. Sit tall, hold your knee, activate both legs, especially the straight one. And then exhale, twist around to the right side. You can take a hand back. If you know how to wrap up the pose, you can do that as well. Just keeping it pretty simple so we can all explore it. Enjoy that twisting around the middle line of the body. Last breath. Release to center, sacrum balance, lean back. Bring your knees up parallel, rest your feet together. And other side, so come down into that shape once more. Sit tall, hold your knee, and exhale, twisting back. One hand to the floor behind, just helps support the whole pose. Straight leg active, toes towards the sky. And then focus on your spine. Nice sensations. If 
Fourth breath, release. One more time. Exhale, unwind. Come back to sacrum balance, feet together, little boat poses. And then come back to the other side in that same shape, but crossing your foot over the other leg. So we're gonna do little grasshopper pose. So bring both your arms over to the left side and lean over towards the side of your body. So we have both feet and both hands and our bind us to try to help us lift up. So just lift your hips off the floor. Find that push up with the hands. One more time. And release down carefully. And then we can stay here and do the infinity pose variation where we just roll over that side body. Use the arms to support you. So there's a little twist, a little lateral, just a different foot variation. Let's go back to that invitation to listen to the breath today. Have another slow circle of breath to create good sensation. Using the exhale to release those actions. Lean back, sacrum balance. Squeeze in your legs. And release. For the last side, we need on the, the left foot drawn in. And it comes across the body. Bring both arms over to the right. Roll to your right side, the right side of your leg. So the elbows will hug into each other a little bit. Spiral hands out, just like downward dog, upward dog arms. Lift up your hips. Or at least the corners of your mouth. Just try. Lift something. Fourth breath. And carefully come down as you breathe out. And then take the arms a little further away from infinity where we just roll to that side. Lift out of the shoulders. Find a nice lateral release. Each pose customized for your body. Exhale. Inhale back to center. And after all that activation, pop, maybe pop your hip, uh, hips up on your blanket or cushion for dragonfly as a, a yin pose for the season, for the winter season. So it's wide legs, a little bit of forward fold or a lot. So explore that. We take out all the effort, all effort. Place your palms up, unless you're using them somewhere else. But if they're in front of you, let the hands rest open. So we come to an appropriate edge where the sensation is good. And remember, just let go, not activating the legs, the bondas, anything. Awakening the meridians, the energy lines of the body called nadis in Sanskrit, little river. In your stillness, listen for your breath. Breath sensing. Learning to drop into that cool, contemplative side of our nature.
Focusing the mind on calmness and acceptance. Stay a little bit longer. Have a, an invitation to go a little more deeply forward or to come out if it's feeling too intense. Your job here is to be present with loving awareness. And let the breath be noticed as it flows through a last circle to emptiness. Draw yourself upright slowly to release the pose. And in the end, it's nice just to have a spontaneous whatever want you want to come next. What does your body want right now? What does your body want? For me, it feels good to go the other way a little bit. Maybe to just let the legs have a little free movement. It's just totally up to you. Feel that effect of holding that shape. Feel that energetic work in the stillness. And then make your way to the back of your body. Come off your cushion. Bring it with you for your head, for rest, or your, your blanket. Just lie down. Going slowly. Draw in your feet to your hips and a little wide. Find center on your back. Mm. Press up to bridge pose one set. So really determined. Let your head move away from your feet as it needs to. Keep it centered. Optional one shoulder at a time underneath. Weave your fingers. Observing how the limbs help us create back bends in certain poses. And these poses strengthen all around the hip joints. One more breath, just pressing the feet. Bring your arms out if they're under you and come down. Take up your right leg, brighten your foot. So activate, bend your knee, come to figure four shape on your back. You can always go further away if you need more space for your hip. If it feels good to draw in, you may do that as well or find somewhere in the middle. Begin to rest. Letting the strengthening that we've done in our practice here be relieved with some stretching. Continue to notice your breath. Eyes rest. Give this side one more complete, slow inhale and exhale. Let go with care. Other side, activate your foot. Feel your foot activate your whole leg as you brighten it. Turn to the side, so that helps protect your knee joint. Rest it open, keep it bright. Draw in on the side or move away. What, what does this side of your body feel good doing? Find that sweet place. Nice long neck. Exhale, one more deep, slow breath. And release. Arms beside you, pick up your feet and straighten your legs up towards the sky. 
Point those toes, activate. You can keep lifting up to shoulder stand if you like, but just a little bit of time here today, just a little time to let our feet and legs drain. We can add a little strength work by reaching the legs away until you feel strength turn on in your belly, but your low back is still pretty grounded. And take up your arms, hands together, and go the other direction. You just feel your whole center getting strong. Three. Front ribs together and down on the exhales. And five. And then bring in your knees to your chest. Take them each a little wider than your torso. Having some time for a happy baby, your own variation, you can hold on to your knees or feet. Grounding your low back. One more breath there. Supta Baddha Kanasana, supine. Another word with Sanskrit origins, bringing the knees out to the side. So the low back should be pretty long from the last pose. Let your heels press gently and the rest of the feet open so the legs can open. Leave your fingers behind your skull with your elbows wide. Breathe and rest into the shape. And there's a little bit of activation here. But let's have a moment just to give space to your feelings. Perhaps to breathe away anything you want to let go of with your exhales. Inhale, what are you manifesting? I'm manifesting calm. Are you letting go of whatever it is? Exhale. Just explore whatever resonates for you for a few more rounds. Letting the breath begin to slow as we hold still. Last time, feel the inhale energy flow through the expansion, pull down of your diaphragm, and then the diaphragm rises up to release the breath from the chest. But while we have our hands here, we can draw the elbows together, lift up your head, gently traction your skull, and release down so you're comfortably centered. Stretch out your legs one at a time. The hips already opening to the side from that last shape. So come to Shavasana, release open, and let go. Shavasana is very yin. Brings us into that calming state. We take away all the activity of the outer layer. Let the muscles rest. Let the bones rest. Let the mind stuff rest. Let your breath find its own flow. You can enclose your mouth again if you like. It might do some stretchy inhales and exhales on its own. Just let it release your throat if it asks you to.
resting in openness. Soft around your eye sockets. The heart center is expansive and restful. Oh, to love what is lovely and will not last. What a task to ask of anything or anyone. Yet it is ours, and not by the century or the year, but by the hours. One fall day I heard above me and above the sting of the wind, a sound I did not know, and my look shot upward. It was a flock of snow geese winging it faster than the ones we usually see, and being the color of snow, catching the sun, so they were, in it part at least, golden. I held my breath, as we do sometimes, to stop time when something wonderful has touched us. As with a match which is lit and bright, but does not hurt in the common way, but delightfully, as if delight were the most serious thing you ever felt. The geese flew on. I have never seen them again. Maybe I will someday, somewhere. Maybe I won't. It doesn't matter. What matters is that when I saw them, I saw them as through the veil, secretly, joyfully, clearly. Bring your hands together and rub them up and down to create a little friction and warmth and energy. Just feel it. Listen to that. Listen to our hands. And then stop and gently cup around your eye sockets. Just letting that warmth melt into the face. That vibration. And then begin your transition to seated pose. Take a few rounds of breath for that process. And then tuck yourself back into your easy pose or another variation if you would like. Tucking the toes in between the spaces of the legs. Feel the strength of your center as you sit with gentle length, let the benefits of the practice be observed with gratitude. And taking your right hand up to your forehead, and just wrap it around your forehead. And take your left hand to the back and do the same thing. Calming the nervous system. Just remember this for the next time you might feel the need for it. 
Breathe out once more. Forehead hold for anxious times. Come back to your center to finish. Um, vibration of sound. I'm sitting for a moment in the bliss created by the practice. knowing that you have this place of refuge, peace, light, and love. Namaste. Thank you.